I made a professional rum ad from home. But first, I gotta take you back a week ago. I got a message from a client to make an ad for a bottle of rum. The next morning, I picked up the rum and I started storyboarding the video. The target demographic is men aged 25 to 40. They wanted the ad to feel mysterious and luxurious. I'm not a chemist myself. I don't know how the aging process works, but I found out from the client that it has something to do with wood. I gotta get some wood. Okay, so the plan is to cut here and here. This is a lot more work than I thought it was. And after about halfway through cutting, I realized how much work this is gonna be with a handsaw, especially with a bigger log. So I wanted to switch to something a little more powerful. Now that the wood's been cut, let's head back in to do some final preparations. A trick I learned was putting some diffusion on the back of the bottle. This really lights the bottle up, but I don't have diffusion. I found out a great makeshift diffusion is parchment paper. Now that I have the bottle set up, it's time for the production. I decided we're gonna film this commercial outside completely. And the weather is pretty nice. It's just a bit windy, so I am a little worried about that. But hopefully it turns out really well, and we'll see. I was right about being worried about the wind. It was so strong that it kept blowing over my set. I tried taping it down. With no luck, I decide to give up and move inside. Okay, because of the wind, we're gonna shoot the rest inside, so let's get back in. Okay, so this is the new setup for the shot. We have our key light, our backlight, actually two backlights, and we're using a piece of foam board for the fill light. For diffusion, I don't actually own diffusion, so we are using a piece of parchment paper to diffuse, as well as on the back of the bottle. We have a piece of parchment paper taped to the back and that will make it look really nice. I have the whole thing on a Lazy Susan with some of the wood we chopped earlier. Also have our backdrop mounted by two magnets, one magnet here and one magnet down here. It's resting all on a sideways dresser. And just like that, we got our first shot. So this next shot is really similar to the first one. The only difference is we are turning the log sideways and keeping the bottle on the same position. So when it rotates, we get the logo coming up diagonally. Wow, that looks really good. To get the next shot of taking the cork out, we're gonna hot glue this meat skewer to this cork. I did this shot like a hundred times until it turned out the way I envisioned. This video took a lot of time, so please hit the like button if you're enjoying it. So I forgot to record a few things, but this was the final shot. I'm really happy with how it ended up and let's put it together in post. So I've been editing the ad for a few days now and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it right now for you. I really like how it turned out. I think I did a really great job. I'm happy with it. The client's happy with it. Uh, it took a while to do, so I'm I'm really happy at the end result. Please let me know in the description down below what you want me to make an ad for next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you like. I'll catch you next time.